What's up guys? Appreciate you guys being back with me on another cold, chilly night. Uh, it's late tonight, it's 12.15. Just got done with uh, my daughter's softball tournament. And uh, gonna head out, hit a few stands and push pretty far tonight, hopefully. Uh, hopefully these coyotes are moving. Not very much humidity, so thermal should be kicking ass. And uh, I'm hoping they're pretty active. So we're gonna get right into it tonight. Let's go hop in the truck and uh, we'll see what happens. Let's go guys. Fred, these weeds are going to block my scanner. Boom. Switch to pop distress. Got him. <laughs> What's up, guys? 
Man, I tell you guys every time, this never gets old. This is awesome. There was no way for me to record it there at the beginning, but I did a lone howl with the uh, MFK diaphragm and let it set quiet for about five minutes. And uh, all of a sudden, whenever I cut to the video there on the thermal, um, had two over there by the river. This is a big old river over here. And uh, started some young pup howls and uh, that definitely got their attention, but I didn't think they were gonna commit, so. Um, turned to something a little more aggressive and one of them cut loose and came right towards me and I was wanting to check and see if it, that other one was going to follow it in but I never did see it so I went ahead and toasted that one right over there in its spot. This is kind of bittersweet. This is probably going to be the last uh, run for a while for the 6.5 Grendel. That new, rifle's in, uh, that new rifle was delivered uh, to the gun shop tonight so uh, bittersweet but also super exciting just and let's go get this dog and stop talking. <laughs> Brought the old Fox Pro X24 tonight. Have to see when we get up here, but look like a smaller dog through the thermal. Sometimes that can fool you though. Get up here and take a look. Big old open field here. River's over this way. There he is right up here. thing. Little pocket dog. Dead. Let's see what she, he or she is. Oh male. Yeah. All right man. That's awesome. That is awesome. Boom. That'll do it. Sweet. Gonna get the old coyote cord on it. Get him to the truck. stand number two that other coyote on stand number one never did come in to pup distress so i ended up leaving overall this stand here was a bust and no action at all so on to stand number three go this one might get my wind switch to the rifle
Shoot, we got three of them. boys Fit him. It's right there. I'm gonna go climb back in. <laughs> I'm freaking out here, guys. Shaking all over. Got two right here. Man, I thought I. I don't know if I felt like I did rush that third shot, but I still thought I hit him. Sounded like it, but this ground's so damn hard. Frozen. Probably just hitting the ground, but I'll go check. But, man, I'm shaking. One, because I'm cold, but two, just fired up. And this wind is shifting. It's going back to where this coyote ran to, so it's not good. But I'm going to go check for some blood and uh, see what's out here. Look at this thing shake. <laughs> Something way up there, but it's up on top of the hill. I don't know. Probably a deer. All right. Here we go. Let's see what these bad boys are. Yeah, get that one. Let's see what it is. A female here. Good looking dog there. Good looking coyote. Let's go check this one out. And here's the other one. There's a little more bloody there. Male. Male and female. Keep that blood out of the picture there. 
Not a bad looking coyote. Female looks better. All right, I'm gonna walk up here, turn the camera off, see if I can find some blood and come back to you guys. All right guys, I'm back at the coyotes. I went up there, uh, took a look where I thought the coyote was at, that I shot at. Definitely further than what I thought, so uh, thinking back on it, probably shot right underneath it. Uh, we'll find out on the footage maybe a little bit better, but regardless, I'm pretty sure clean mess. But still super excited. Uh, heck of a night. Everything's dying. Uh, this battery on this camera here is getting ready to die, so I might have to switch to this, the cell phone. But I'm going to drag these back, bring the truck around, and uh, we'll get these loaded up. Got to drag that one on the right by its paw. That one on the right's mouth's really bloody. Let's go. Had to get the rack out for these two extras. a little frozen looking good and better Woo. go Grendel all right guys here we are three stands tonight and brought home three dogs should have been four got a little antsy there on the fourth the triple that came in and uh, I haven't even looked at the footage yet no worries uh, good clean miss I hope and uh, be out there for next time hopefully so that's part of it would have been uh, much easier if I had a second gun man tonight but I hunt quite a bit solo and to be honest that's when I have most of my luck uh, gonna keep this real quick tonight it's freezing out here super cold and it's 4 15 in the morning so <laughs> I'm gonna get in get some sleep and I'm hoping tomorrow I go and get that new rifle a little interruption there it's so cold out it killed the light that I brought out and set on the back of the truck but like I mentioned this might be the last run for a while for the 6.5 Grendel on a thermal setup anyway plan to switch that over to a little bit of daytime action and um, Hopefully that rifle comes in tomorrow. I know it's at the local UPS uh, facility, so hopefully it gets delivered to the gun shop. But regardless, if it's not tomorrow, uh, tonight's Friday. Uh, it's gonna be early next week. So appreciate you guys being along. If you guys have any questions with this hunt or anything else, uh, make sure and comment down below. Try to get back to those as quickly as I can. Appreciate you guys for all the support. It means a lot to me and uh, can't wait for the next time we get out. Happy hunting, be safe. We'll see you on the next one, bye.